it's a fly-in community, so everything that you you see here has to be flown in at an incredible cost. Now that's Tom White. He teaches grades three and four in Agoki, which is a First Nations community of about 200 people. And because it's a fly-in community... There's really limited uh, resources for the kids. Uh, aside from the school, there's really, you know, we, there aren't many things here. So Tom, who's a musician as well as a teacher, decided to start a club at school. So I ordered about 15 ukuleles from Moe's Place in Nova Scotia, and uh, they arrived here um, just over the Christmas holidays, actually. And in January, I started uh, putting together the ukulele club. Tom had the kids, he had the ukuleles. Problem was, they needed something to learn. There was no ukulele lesson plan. So Tom turned to the internet. Well, how you doing, folks? This is Patrick. We're out in the backyard. It is a beautiful afternoon here. In he knew about a father-son duo from Maryland named Pat and Patrick Costello. They make instructional folk music videos for the Internet. So Tom, he emailed the Costellos to ask if they could send some of their videos on a DVD so his ukulele club could watch and learn. But Patrick Costello had a different idea. He created a ukulele lesson plan, posted it to his website, and invited ukulele players from all around the world to make their own instructional videos for the ukulele club in a Goki post. Patrick says the idea was to give the kids a glimpse into how music can bring people around the world together, and at the same time, give folk musicians the opportunity to develop their teaching skills. Hi, I'm Daniele from Reggio Emilia, Italy, and this is my entry for the ukulele project. And so I guess starting to come in now are all these videos from uh, all over the world, really, just to everyone taking, uh, taking turns and teaching one lesson at a time and uploading those videos to uh, archive.org. Hello again, it's Andy here in uh, the UK, in England. Hello, this is uh, Tim Davis in uh, Gwangju, South Korea. That uh, I think it was Tim in Korea who put together a, uh, an introduction to the song um, Skip to My Lou. And so we got to uh, watch him sitting on a beautiful stone wall with uh, some kind of temple or interesting building in the background uh, as he sung along to Skip to My Lou and, and uh, taught us how to play it. I'll find another one prettier than you. It's kind of a remarkable thing because these kids uh, who live in a place that's so limited, you know, we're having conversations through the internet with folks from around the world who have an interest in music. It's, it's like building a shared language and uh, making it possible for them to converse on these terms with people from very different backgrounds.